This morning, we feature a veteran's voice that went silent 76 years ago tomorrow on a tiny island in the South Pacific. Marine Private First Class Joseph Robert Livermore was part of the fierce battle for Tarawa, the first major offensive by the U.S. against Japan. And he remained there on that sandy atoll until earlier this year. His story this morning told to 23 ABC over the course of three days last week when he was finally laid to rest. It was one week ago today, Private First Class Joseph Robert Livermore made his return to Kern County, a World War II Marine, killed in action, greeted by crowds throughout Bakersfield, some with a salute in his memory. Or a moment of silence outside his old alma mater. Finally arriving at Union Cemetery. Thanks. He left Bakersfield in the days following the attack on Pearl Harbor, enlisting in the Marines. It was the last time his family would see him, but his hometown was never really that far away. When PFC Livermore was finally deployed, he set sail with thousands of Marines for Tarawa in the South Pacific. And it's the last place he'd ever expect to find another guy from Bakersfield. My mom went to school with Robert since kindergarten at St. Joseph's. On the way to Tarawa, George said his father, Joe Clarou, a Marine captain, was asked by his mother to try and find Robert among all the faces headed into battle. He looks on the manifest and he finds Robert's on the boat. So he finds him. And they reminisce and they talk about St. Joseph's. They talk about the nuns they had and their teachers and their friends. And My dad was a captain and he was already been on Guadalcanal and this was Robert's first campaign. And he basically told Robert, don't worry, the Navy will bombard that island. Robert will be fine. There won't be anybody left. The battle lasted three days, about 76 hours. Livermore and the 1st Battalion, 6th Marines, landed just off Green Beach on the west side of the atoll, sloshing through chest-deep water, exposed to enemy fire. Once ashore, the Marines engaged the Japanese over the next few days. Robert was killed during an early morning bonsai charge on the last day of fighting. Fighting quickly degenerated into hand-to-hand -hand combat, so the Marines dug in and held. A captured Japanese lieutenant stated after the attack, quote, I knew the battle was lost when the dying Marines kept coming. But their sacrifice paved the way for a U.S. victory. My dad was an Army Air Corps pilot flying B-25s, flew off of Tarawa days after PFC Livermore was killed. Joseph Livermore was buried with a thousand other Marines on Tarawa, but the markers were moved and the graves lost for years. The group History Flight has been actively working to find and recover the remains of U.S. Marines on Tarawa for the past 15 years. Earlier this year, Livermore was one of more than 30 remains that were discovered on this remote island. How they found him, where they found him, how they put him back together and put, is able to solve or salvage all the bones of his body. So it's really interesting and it just, it sparked, a, a, like I say, a flame to want to know more. Tonight, on this solemn occasion, we proudly welcome home these heroes. And the fallen heroes have been returned home with full military honors along the way. Thank God for history flights and and the Department of Defense, they did find him. And we're here today because of that. It's a return that won't soon be forgotten. My great uncle has been missing for decades and to see the community come together and just bring him home was absolutely amazing. I didn't think it was gonna be an emotional day and I've been crying all day long. Thank you and I pray for each and every one of you. His burial at Union Cemetery marking the end of a long journey home.